aggressive. That turret now out of range will have the flank. It is going to get called back in the shots to come on through. We did the first to fall. IMT strike for three. You're able to get some. Dwipo gets one back as well. Now that spike to be planted. Low HP on one. The shots are going to go wide. The dash away to stay safe. And now the odds are even. BCJ, the member that you had mentioned just a moment. As they just look to try to pinch down a couple of players. Oh, uh, okay. Chemicals? I'm guessing he accidentally hit his button there or something of the sort. Uh, unfortunate way to start, but at least Immortal Strike back. Yeah, that, it, that was an awkward way to get on in as a couple of kills traded back and forth once more. It was a shock dart kill. Oh. To come out and find one and not too much to be found by that recon bolt. So things have since quieted, but now you have to be wary. Although Xset down around and down in Arsenal, they've been able to pick up couple of weapons pushing into the smoke are gonna run right into each other in the face of shot up Aaron will go down now that specter that has since been picked up it good for one kill and gangsta with shot up trying to close things out once more it's BCJ in a 2v1 a sheriff in hand the dart in three any less doable does have that info oh. not gonna find the shot there rushed it a little bit the spike was yet to be planned Nice paranoia, alarm box gonna buy some time, JC standing from the back, nature gonna assist him with another. Weeda goes down in the rifle round, starting to fall apart for Xset. Immortals up 5v3 here in this one, and they just have to play for the spike. That is all the utility out the window now. There is still a Hunter's Fury available, chemicals from downtown to sit him down, and it's looking to be Wallace here, BCJ, the last alive, three times in Oops. But that's not going to be the case this time around. Spike goes down, nature gets out, and once more, an even manpower fight in the post plant. 4v4. Turret's going to get some info, spots one out, but those shots going to give him away, and Chemical's just making it look so clean from downtown. The reset's coming through the taps <laughs> on top of it all, and it's not flawless, but it's... Scouting from Immortal seems to be doing them good way. so far. Another push will begin, this time a lot quicker. Immortals, they toss down the lockdown, and they're going to be pushing in right behind it. Someone should be detained with this. Stuck inside, BCJ can't do anything. He's felled, and so apparently is everybody else on actually oh the side God. of exit. There's a struggle back and forth. Chemicals with a late potential... Uh, Vote for himself for the best rifler in NA because he has been proving it so far. From rifle to blades to operator, shot up gonna join him there, finding a kill on the weeded. Now Dwyfo needs to go huge. This was the guy in the run in here battling toe to toe with chemicals. Uh, it's gangster to find that kill though. One they look incredibly comfortable in such a new setting for them, but there's still potentially two more maps in this series on top of Icebox, and let's not count Icebox done yet. Dwyfo, he actually gets the opening in favor of his team. And Xset, for the first time in a while, maybe see a light at the end of the tunnel. As we did, makes it a little bit more bright. Suddenly, mortals are on the back foot. This is the first time they've been in a situation like this. What is going to be their call? Right now, judging by the radar, it seems that they want to end up over towards A. But I'm wondering if maybe they go ahead and keep their Killjoy as potentially a, a late factor to flank towards mid. This will have to be a very, very powerful push, though, over towards A. I mean, really, you're not leaving that much uh, fat to trim off right now. Exeter are a scary team. They can easily take this, and well, obviously, they are favored. But Immortals... No, they've been flawless left. so far. Cover going up. Anything can happen, Tanner. Flawless so far as they faint Cut over towards A. And also I'm going to go out we did with the Lear. They're all going to get on the board with the operator. Now here comes the firing squad and BCJ off the site with the on 30 HP. JC Stanny will go back Smart. and reposition. Might find two on the flanker. He spots out the leg so they've got the information. But on the site, the operators are popping off here. BCJ. Aaron going to be bringing up the rear for this squad. Nature goes huge with that. Huge! Shot. Now it's all up to one. Gangsta, he was deathless before. Now needs to be deathless in this round. But he's completely pincered. A rifle now in the hands of BCJ. No longer the operator. Pirar, though, cannot say the same. Oh. Still hanging on to that operator. going to try and find the spray now. Oh. BCJ comes out on top. Going clutch for three. Put an exit on the board once more. Such an important round. It gets expensive towards the end of it. You're gonna see someone towards the end. Yeah, no, BCJ is gonna stick this. 
I'm guessing they're looking for... Yep, double op. There it is. So they'll change up their approach, look to go towards B. They're full sending it. There is one player voting towards Ooh. mid, but they're all taken care of. What in the world is going on here? It's so strong. And the fight back is oh. even stronger from Shot Up. Three kills? That's not allowed. It Take took no three members. From Xset to find three kills, it only took Spike Shot planted. Up to answer back. BCJ One just barely gonna go wide on that shot. Not oh. gonna miss that one though. The near sight doesn't matter. Shot Up with six HP would have loved to have had that kill. It is No way. Up dismisses away. The neural theft gets the information. The fake oh. comes through and Thwipo wow. comes out on top. What a spicy round, but Xset are not giving up yet. Far and away, they've been looking pretty good here. Exit, definitely recovering in form. Mortals have been stopped for a little while, but trying to once again bring up the rear. Will be shot up as he gets the kill onto Aaron. Trading things back, we're into a 4v4 Tanner. A 4v4, but low HP on this attacking squad. That spray down only went good for one kill, but it did so much damage. Got that lockdown. On the side is gonna detain one. They're gonna oh, find the kill. Nature gonna be the benefactor. Shot up, grabs another. Now PCJ operator in hand needs to go huge in a 1v3. Low HP on one sits down. The Empress Spike dethroned. Planted. PC's escape. One left away, the other planted the spike. He's got an idea, but he only has 21 HP. Is that going to be enough? The shock dart surely would have sat him down, should have been on target. But it wasn't. BCJ. And a 1v2. Recon Bolt gonna be taken down. One gonna be sent back in return. He tries to wall bang it. He peeks out with the classic. Nature was looking to peek. Not gonna do it. 9 HP to 21 HP. But another member to worry about. BCJ just has to <laughs> send it. He hops up top. And IMT final. This is such a cool call. This is, I mean, it's different than anything we've ever seen here. As we did get to continue to play aggressive. He does finally get sprayed down, but it's one for one overall. The frenzy from JC standing comes out on top. He's able to push up and find the imposter as well. Nice little weapon upgrade. Gun game into the making here as he upgrades, but switches back. Now in a 4v3. Unfortunately, low on HP is that omen. Nature going to push on up. They're going to go for the defuse. They fake it once. Recon Bolt not going to get too much. As they swap positions inside the smoke, Thwipo going to try and cut IMT down. He hops on in like a madman, and it's all up to PCJ. Tosses up that recon dart. He's got the info. He's got one kill, but he's got to reload. As IMT will grab my team names there, but I'm definitely not going to mix it up because I can't help but say the team names right here and the fact that Immortals have such a beautiful stack. I just gotta have to say the name over and over again because they're just continuing with the aggression. They're taking the fight to you. They have no fear of the pistols. And this was an exit force. Lifo grabs to it. Hurts the economy, but... Sam just apparently from the eye test, a little research is done. Except they don't want to be shut up either. They were also heavy overdogs heading into this one. Again, they fell TSM yesterday, but right now they are the ones being fallen. What in the world is that double kill from Shot Up? That completely flips the script. And now everything is a big question mark this time for Exit. They're being completely and systematically destroyed by Shot Up. He has to bring out the sidearm, but that's not going to be enough to finish up. So Immortals, maybe keep this one up. The next set, they'll have to fight back as hard as they can. I was gonna say, this is a scary spot. They have to cross for the spike, but a nice shrouded step is going to allow Aaron to pick that one up. But can he get out now? As Chemicals holds this angle, I would imagine the play is over towards A. At the very least, you do not want to have to peek this up. Especially when... Chemicals is the wielder. There's that shrouded step used. It's going to be a fake to hang out by yellow box once more. And with the man Last advantage, they can play standing. one just about everywhere. Gangs oh are going to sit down. That's the spike. Now it's Wipo with 10 seconds. That really has been so good at surviving and providing so much good way. recon for his teammates. Like, that right there is just something else entirely. But let's get on to this round because it's already begun and we're already in the thick of it. Chemicals finds the opener and the push actually just might come immediately. Except want to up the pace. 
They're up in the face, they have the SMGs. The blades go down for exit, but they come up for Immortals as IMG grabs one. Kendall one could be the better remaining. factor. And it's all down That's to this. Done. It's all down to win wow. it. It's going to Defenders close out. Win. Hashtag wreck the set here as IMT grab a win for that eight seed spot where you're only walking away with a thousand dollars for your squad now seeding is important with this one and the winner will go on to play sentinels in the semi-finals tomorrow as it's a creep up towards a except squad gonna be pushing up right behind this owl drone shock dart they're gonna get a bit of information that one up towards heaven they're gonna storm onto the site and it's gonna be the retake game coming out from int is that spike Looks to be planted down. JC Stani playing right outside the side. Gangsta kind of corralled up top with the smoke there. Not going to get too much ever since back from this. And for X said they have assumed their post plant position. Shot up though as a player in the last one. Nice paranoia. Going to lock everybody down there. Blind as they push onto the side. And it's BCJ for two. It's X set for five. What a pistol round. Every and it will continue. And a transition into this next round. Planted. Once more, it's a free take. One a couple of kills remaining. have come through, but all the excess side looking to be flawless. I mean, Here. <laughs> it, what can you do? What can you, uh, oh, can okay. You, you could pop the grape of one. Gangsta with the sheriff in hand. Unfortunately, not going to remain deathless. Some moral support, but they're not oh, even going to be used for this round. Three. The action will be a quick split through, but through a garage, excuse me. And JC Stanny, as he weaves ducks. Between the smokes will actually not find anything. He's overwhelmed by Weeded. The spike is planted. And once again, Exit just completely clean house. This bonus is looking great. Or at least it did up until Immortals out of nowhere show up with two of their own. Weeded takes a very scary fight, yet somehow wins it over Shot Up, who's been on fire. And finally, the fire will be put out. Exit, they take round number three. game. And I love this approach. Exit, we see two Spectres on this team again. And it's on the right in your face and punish you for letting them close the gap as the ultimate comes through so it's not we're gonna find one he's still on the side and he's mowing him down it's aaron and the rest of the squad to take it now shot up goes for the hero play quick enough they should be again perfectly rewarded for their efforts here they're already moving in finally the first kill goes their way but shot up as well as nature are fighting back three kills in the blink of an eye what has gone wrong Unfortunately, that one kill just not enough here for Xset. And you called it. They had a, a play in mind. It just gets completely stunted as they stormed onto that C site. Now, Gangsta going to be holding it down on A. Should be able to catch the rotates from coming on over. He hears the stampede. There's a kill from oh, back oh site. Lord. And it goes, what can you do in this round, especially when they're all stacked up towards A for this jet? Oh, no, it's oh, the Gangsta for two. What just happened, Gangsta? <laughs> Out of nowhere, again, he just pulls off a crazy solo kill. And this sort of thing is what I mean by the wild card factor. Is that out of nowhere, Immortals can end the round in 20 seconds. Seemingly when they feel like it. Right, Bo. To pick up the pieces. We'll get two kills! Massive at that! But at the end, something that's going to consistently mess with the minds. Uh, that's it. Apparently mess with my mind as well. The next one has already begun. A trade for a trade. Death being lethal so far. And they're, they're just trading back and forth here. They don't want to give up the lead. Nice ult on the backside as Aaron picks up another with the showstopper. This C site once more opened up. This time, Xset on top when it comes to manpower. Inks is still alive, so you still have to be wary. Pushing up towards Garage. All three members, notably, Charles? playing out towards Long. Nature gonna try and back him up. Only a Nuts. satchel charge here on the race. So from downtown, you just have to hope you hit the shots. Recon Bolt gonna go through. They know one is there, maybe two, as they hear the shots come on through. One right for the defuse, and the shots are just pure. As X said, grab another round. They don't. Right back to B, Tanner. You don't have to overthink it at all. Just go right back to the site. Gonna try to deny the plant as much oh. as you possibly can, and Gangsta will actually be rewarded with a kill because of it. Time is of the essence. They need to get the spike down immediately, and Immortals realize it, so they're gonna close the distance to their own volition as well. Spike not actually gonna be denied entirely, so it still does get planted, but Immortals have numbers in space.
spades here, and they will have now the round in the palm of their hands. A late response from Immortals as they shut down the towards Garage or towards C in general. This is the right call. I really like this for next set, but they need to win the fights to boot. Oh no! Now the Seaside Storm once more. Kills can be traded back and forth as both jets off the board. Now both jets. No longer alive here. Aaron will go ahead and dash on into the site. Now oh all Lord. up to shot up in a 1v3 to go even at the half. The spike plant going to be fake. The play chemicals. The rifle in his hands is pretty good. The right click from the stinger can't necessarily say the same. A shot up in the first contact over towards this B side. Able to find one. Dismissed to get away. 46 HP. He's just going to wow. get one down. And a nice kill there by Pure R. Should be able to walk out and grab that weapon. Shock darts into heaven. Not going to get too much value, but it does force everybody from IMT away and over to the A side they will go. That's a huge chase, too. Pure R being able to trade that one out is maybe not round changing, but definitely going to help secure those fundamentals that Exit have overall been so good at. Now, the site has been taken without any further complications. Immortals, like you mentioned, will get that spike down. What comes next, though? Maybe a shock dart into your leg. It just barely misses actually hitting that omen's leg, but explodes right in front of him. Immortals, excuse me, except begin their retake in, and it will promptly end. With Gangsta having his way, we'll see a bit of a spray down, a bit of a response. But they're bringing rotates over, it makes it seem like they do, but can they actually do anything about denying the spike to start with? V5 retake, Chemical is going to kick things off. Jet v Jet, Chemicals comes out on top. Imposter down. And IMT find themselves sitting versus more looking to top up. Okay, we're gonna try and come out. Satchel charges there. He pushed out on the side, but he gets mowed down. Nature. That PCJ up in heaven, raining it One down. JC Sonny waiting for him to push out, but it's nature to find the kill and not flawless, but pretty darn close. I am uh, hopefully a, a pretty impressive retake if they're not even going to continue to fight with this. But I, I really do like the idea of them fighting hard for it. There's a Hunter's Fury, and that's going to be their move to path right on into the site, completely overwhelm, and hopefully find a couple of kills in their favor. As we glance at the kill feed, we see it does go the way of Immortals to start with. But there it is, the we did factor. Only is going to be good to find one kill. That spike should be planted. And without further issue, Exet will once again have to mount a monumental retake. With the numbers not in their favor, things are scary. And it's the post plant once more. This is where Exet has struggled on this retake. This time playing out towards C long. It is planted in what looks Ooh. like a defaulted area, so maybe not having Thanks the recon, best though. angle is nice shock dart to try and clear things out. Cage comes down, the tag comes through, though. Nation. Just be able to spray BCJ down, but Dwyfo making sure he stays alive. One Another fake remaining. to come through. The spike not yet halfway. And in the 1v2 with so much info, Immortals just oh, might what? lose it, and they do. I cannot believe it. Shutting me right up. Of it. Oh, now has since upgraded to the operator. Maybe trading. I didn't see where that one came from. Was oh, able to pick paranoia. that up. Paranoia comes through. Nobody pushing on the back end though, so it doesn't do a whole lot. And Aaron is just going to swing one it, and Xen are just looking to win it. Now in a one, three, JC Stan, he can't get it done. Xen back on five v five retake once more. And as you said, Xen have fallen a little flat in these situations. Oh, and Nature looking to make sure that that rings true. A beautiful kill up top into heaven onto Aaron. One more. Gonna try and head on up. It's Weeded. Assuming that position. And it's Exet down in a 4v5. They are up one round. So this is just for the tie here. At double digits as the cage comes through. The spray comes down. And Twyfo is able to trade it back. But Nature goes good for a double. And Gangsta to on the post plant has been lights out here on Haven. They now realize nobody on the site. Nobody even close. As it should be just about full utility. Minus the Cypher Util. As Xset rotates over towards this C site. Everyone's playing off in the clutch situation. Xset's come out on top. It's not looking to be the case as it's IMT and Gangsta gonna go friendly fire on it. They're trying to turn it around, trying to make that hurt, trying to punish them for that kill from the Hunter's Fury. Diffuse comes through. 
Huge Rico start. Bull gonna be taken down. Shockstar gonna find the kill in nature to close it out. Two rounds in a row, he opens it up. What Immortals are doing here? Slow burst up. This time, though, it's been spotted early. You'll see the rotate come through immediately. It's actually gonna be a teleport into heaven on top of it. Immortals win the opening two fights, and that completely opens things up here. The Empress from Shot Up. Xset down to their last three. Aaron turns it around for one as they're forced away from the site because of the information. A nice tag onto Pure R. Now that's oh, that huge. Down. Shot up finds one. Shot up finds another. They're looking to close it out right here, right now in 2 0 fashion. It's 18 HP separating these teams, but it's shot up. Who better than 